Hello guys, welcome to Ashley Lancelot Show, and this video is going to be about the Stardew Valley on the Switch that's been ported in about a few months ago, I believe. It'll probably be longer than that. I just recently got it on the Switch. I got it on the eShop. I don't see the actual physical copy for it. I was waiting for a physical copy, but later on, a lot of these uh, eShop um, download actually have physical copies. One day, they don't have physical copies for these. Later on, hopefully. Uh, it is a very... Uh, fun game if you like harvest moon style games um it's a more pixelated to a 16 to a um 16 bit style kind of gaming i think it's more than that it's like 34 i believe uh but uh but other than that it's a fine game it's a it has quest it has storyline you can go in and get married you get to farm you can give me money upgrade your barn upgrade your chicken coop if you're going greenhouse you can also do several other quests to unlock other uh section as well uh, the problem is uh with this type of game it's four season only of course uh, with 30 days each on each days and pretty much each day you can do a lot more until the time runs out the so two in the morning until you fall asleep somewhere and hopefully you don't fall asleep in the dungeon you, know, you lose eight about eight levels and a lot of gold um this is a kind of game for people that wants to just be laid back. It's not competitive. There's very not that much strategic. It's just basically the way of life that you, know, you want your character to be and to become. There are times you go down dungeons to collect more minerals, collect parts for monster. You can also farm your own slime as well. Um, overall, I played this game on the Steam for a very long time. I actually locked almost every single. Um, the Jojo Fruit Spirit. Um, I didn't believe there's about five or six of them that you unlock. You get all the Jojo. Every time you unlock one, you unlock a, a new path, a new area, and probably a better items as well uh, later on down the road. Um, getting around to get married, you have to basically you're gonna have to give gifts to people, um, pretty much from the opposite sex. And later on, when you fill it up, uh, if you date, then you go. Wait till the summer and the rain, get the mermaid necklace, then you get married during, I believe, the end of summer or beginning of spring. But this is one of very fun game, a lot of interaction with one another. I wish there was multiplayer for this, uh, because I know a lot of my friends will actually play this with me. Uh, but other than that, it's a very good game. I give this game a 10, and I love it. It's portable. It's very easy controller. You don't have to really use a Joy-Con for it, but you can. I uh, use a Pro Controller. I did live streams on this before. And it is, it is, it is different because I'm used to doing keyboard and mouse for a lot of these games. Um, there's a lot of these indie games as well. But hopefully I want to see, hopefully there'll be more uh, DLC come to this. I want to see more expansion, more buildings, more animals. Um, the only thing that sucks about it is that you cannot pick specific animals at the beginning. You have to keep upgrading your barns and your chicken coop to get more and more different types of animals uh, during, your, uh, during the season pass. Um, I believe a lot of the items are very hugely expensive, but you know what? That's what this game it is. You harvest stuff and you just sell it. Um, but other than that, I, I give it two thumbs up. I, I really enjoy it. Check in the playlist for the Steam version. Uh, the one for the Switch version will be up. Uh, and um, if you like this video, please put a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll talk to you all guys later. Bye bye.